Welcome to my channel. In this video you will show global version original, brand new top best selling smart LIF EPO4 battery product on AliExpress, with discount price. If you are reading this, it is likely you are interested in LED lights, and how to power them. LED lights have revolutionized the landscape of home lighting over the past few years, but they still require an electricity supply. There are a number of options for powering LED lights, but one of the most popular is rechargeable. Batteries.THELIF EPO4 battery is designed specifically to power LEDs. It is a lithium-ion battery that can be charged using a standard USB port or solar panel. The LIF EPO4 battery offers a number of benefits over traditional lithium-ion batteries, including Nerd Ralph Loves Cheap and Dirty Hacks, and for that we applaud him. His latest endeavor is a LIF EPO4 battery charger that he made out of parts he had on hand for under 50 cents US. Although we think he really made it for the fun of making it. The circuit is centered around a TL431 programmable shunt regulator, which is an awesome and underrated chip in its own right. If you don't know the TL431, Aka LM431, you owe it to yourself to fetch the datasheet and pick up a couple with your next electronics part order. In fact, it's such a great chip. We can't resist telling you about it for a minute dot despite its misleading electrical symbol. Think of the TL431 as being a voltage-activated switching transistor. When the voltage on the reference pin is lower than 2.5V, the transistor doesn't conduct. When the voltage on the reference pin is higher than 2.5V, the transistor acts as a closed switch, sinking around 100 milliamperes of current to ground. If you tie the reference pin to the cathode, the TL431 does behave like a Zener diode that has a breakdown voltage of 2.5 volts, but that's selling it short. The TL431 is a full-fledged IC with a precision voltage level reference, a comparator, and the active transistor all bundled up inside. The ability to put different voltages on the reference pin and the cathode make it interesting. An LED and a current limiting resistor up to the cathode and ground the anode of the TL431. Then, when the voltage on the reference is higher than 2.5V, the LED will light up brightly. 2.5V isn't interesting to you. You can add a voltage divider to increase the threshold to any value above 25 volts that you'd like. Shown here is a LED that only lights up when the input is 5V or greater. You can use this idea anywhere you need a voltage-activated switch. For instance as a battery's low voltage, Monitor.THETL431 is fine as a switch, but it thrives on feedback. To make a voltage regulator from the LED circuit shown here, all you need to do is add a transistor in place of the LED, have the TL431 turn the transistor on, when the voltage drops below a target voltage, and off when the voltage rises above. Indeed, this cheap and cheerful voltage regulator application is where almost all of the TL431s end up providing voltage regulation and switching power supplies. You've probably got a few in your computer's power supply right now, as a matter of fact. Disclaimer, these choices may be out of date. All of these products may not be in stores. We don't know when if this will be back in stock. You need to go to Top 5 All Best LIF EPO 4 Battery 2023 Review Link to see the most recent updates to the list. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe this channel.